The Audi Q7 is synonymous with efficiency, sportiness and premium comfort. Today I'm going to introduce you to this very special vehicle in a very specific environment. The premium SUV is an all-rounder, both in the city and in the countryside. As you can see, there are some major and minor innovations. Take for example the Matrix LED headlights, or indeed the striking single frame with horizontal tooth structure at the front of the car. It's not only Quattro on the inside, but on the outside as well if you look at the blades on the doors. And all of this is topped off with rear LED lights with optional dynamic indicators. But we'll see all this in action again later. Well, that's a quite a start to my trip. Look, I don't even need to use my hands to open the boot. With the convenience key in my pocket, sensors underneath the car register my kick and automatically open and close the luggage compartment and its electronic cover inside as well. Although the outer dimensions are smaller than the previous model, there is more space for passengers and luggage inside. The space concept in the Q7 is highly variable. You can fold down each seat individually, making an amazing amount of space. To provide easier access, the size of the rear door has been increased in comparison to previous models. Now, if five seats weren't enough, you have the option of an additional two seats in the third row. They operate using this button electronically and offer an impressive amount of legroom. The Q7 is high quality, comfortable and elegant. Now, if you travel in the car as much as I do, you'll probably appreciate every small detail that makes a journey comfortable. For this, I'd recommend ambient lighting to set the mood. Now, I always have my smartphone on me. Just simply connect it to the Audi smartphone interface. You can connect two devices simultaneously and then you can make phone calls, select your own music, or even dictate a message to your friends. Who would you like to text? Felix Miller. What do you want to say to Felix Miller? Hi buddy, are you still on for climbing? Ah, Felix Miller's texting you back. Felix Miller said, I'm on my way, see you later. Unfortunately, I'm totally lost without GPS. Thankfully, that isn't a problem anymore thanks to the MMI system. There's a variety of different navigational facilities. The simplest, intuitive voice control. I would like to go to the Deutsche Alpenstrasse. Now, generally speaking, men don't do a lot of talking. They just get down and do things. So, to enter your destination, you have two options. The rotary push button or the all-in-one touchpad. Again, focus is on ease of use. Add four letters is enough for the system to predict exactly where you want to go. The Q7 comes with an optional virtual cockpit. The TFT display directly in front of the driver. And depending on your mood, you can use the multifunctional steering wheel to switch between classic and infotainment based modes. Time to take you for a drive. Oh, Ooh, that was close. The Q7 was watching my back, thanks to cross-traffic assist and the automatic brake function. The Q7 comes with all-wheel steering by request. That means that the rear wheels rotate with up to five degrees differential, allowing a turning circle one metre less. Perfect for those really tight turns. Like its predecessor, the Q7 has adaptive air suspension, but going one step further now, it has an actual off-road mode. The car comes with pre-sent city as standard in all European vehicles. Oh, that was close. It gave me a tension on the steering wheel. It gave me an audible and visual warning on the dashboard and eventually fully braked the car to avoid that pedestrian. It really can save lives. The Audi Q7 is a very tranquil place to keep out horrible city noises like that. 
I wind up the window, the acoustic glass cancels out the noise, and we can go back to tranquility once more. Rush hour, why do they call it rush hour when nobody's rushing anywhere? You're just sitting here in a traffic jam. It's so frustrating. Thankfully, Audi have come up with the traffic jam assist, which makes life a lot calmer. It operates in two separate ways. Firstly, lane assist keeps you between the two white lines and operates the steering wheel for you. And then the ACC keeps a set distance between you and the car in front. So I'll activate it now. And the car, when the car in front pulls away, my car pulls away too, without me doing anything. I'm not touching the accelerator or the brake. And when he stops, my car also stops. A remarkable system. Now, remember I told you about the Matrix LED headlights? They're actually very, very clever piece of kit as well because they've got a control system which is controlling the diodes automatically, moving them around so that they don't blind oncoming traffic and they don't blind you when they reflect into the road signs. I actually don't need to be looking for road signs because there's a camera recognition system within the car which is reading those road signs and then relaying the information onto my virtual cockpit and my head-up display, which is my favourite bit. It's right in my eye line, exactly where I need it to be, projecting various information that I've chosen personally to be shown in front of me and I've got speed on there and I've got navigation as well. An incredible good piece of kit. Ah, I need to get off here. Indicate, oh now look at those cool LED indicators flashing from the inside outwards. Now the journey has been going on for a while and the car has been constantly learning about the way I drive and adapting itself as well. Especially the DSP or the Dynamic Shift Program. It's now optimizing its gear changes to suit my driving style. That's so clever. So I really don't have to worry about too much. I can sit back and relax and listen to the Bang & Olufsen 3D sound system, my favorite music in high quality. We've arrived, time to park up, and Audi will do this for you, thanks to the Park Assist. Simply pressing this button, ultrasonic sensors are scanning the area to my right-hand side, looking for a parking space. It's found one, now I need to just follow the simple instructions. Stop, select reverse gear, let go of the steering wheel, and that's a significant bit. I'm simply controlling the speed of the car using the brake pedal, the car is steering into the space for me to ensure perfect parking every time. And it works in perpendicular situations as well as parallel parking. An amazing piece of kit. And there we go. Time to head onto the mountains. Whoa! You see the indicators blinking just then. That was the exit warning system telling me that there's a vehicle or a cyclist coming up close to my left hand side and definitely avoiding imminent danger. The Q7 is safe, comfortable, yet sporty with this progressive design. But you've heard enough from me. Discover the Q7 for yourself on the Audi website. I've got a mountain to climb.